Okay, so what do we have here? Well, obviously we have a triangle and we want to find the angles of the triangle. So right here, this angle would be x, and we want to be a little bit more precise here. We can call this x degrees. And this angle over here is 2x degrees. And then this angle right here, we would express as 2x minus 10 degrees. We want to find the actual angles of this triangle. So do we have enough information to solve this problem? Absolutely. And if you're at the you know high school level or beyond in terms of mathematics, basic algebra, geometry, you absolutely should be able to solve a problem like this. It's very, very easy. So uh, if you're not quite sure, just stick around for a couple minutes. I'll explain this. But if you want to go ahead and solve this and put your um, answers into the comment section, I think that would be excellent because I'm going to show you the answer here in just one second. And then, of course, I'm going to show you the solution. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. I'm telling you right now, all of you can be successful in mathematics, but it requires great math instruction, okay? Clear, understandable, and most importantly, comprehensive. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level in terms of mathematics, check out my math help program. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. I promise it will help you big time. Also, if you hap uh, happen to be preparing for a test with a dedicated math section, there's a ton of them out there. Things like the SAT, ACT, GED, ASVAB, teacher certification exam. I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you out. If you homeschool, check out my award-winning middle and high school homeschool math courses and program. Uh, and if you need great math notes, hopefully you have your own. If you do not, start working on improving your notes. This is critical to your success in mathematics. But I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video as well. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give you the answer right now. And the answer, of course, is going to be the actual uh, angles in degrees of this triangle. So let's go ahead and see the answer. And here it is. So here is the problem. This uh, angle in the triangle is 38 degrees. This angle over here is 76 degrees. And this angle up here is 66 degrees. Okay, so you, uh, if you got that right, I must go ahead and give you a nice, lovely, happy face, an A plus, 110%. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you a few stars so you can feel extra special today. Nice job. Okay, good work. But uh, if you didn't um, get this or if you're like completely confused, this is not that difficult. But we need to know something about triangles and the angles in a triangle. Okay, this is something that every math student needs to know. I'm going to go ahead and show you this now. And once you understand this, you'll probably go, oh, now I know how to solve this. So this is what you need to know, that the sum of the angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Every single triangle out there, if you add up the angles in that triangle, you'll always get 180 degrees. So this particular triangle, if I take this angle and I add it to this angle, and then I add it to this angle, Okay, it doesn't make a difference what uh, triangle I'm dealing with, but this angle plus this angle plus this angle, all the angles, when you add them all up, you get 180 degrees. So with that being said, we can actually create a nice, lovely equation. So I can use algebra to solve this problem. I, I'm going to take this angle, I'm going to add it to this angle, and then I'm going to add it to this angle, and I'm going to set all that equal to 180 degrees. And of course, you can see, this is what I have right here. I have this nice, lovely equation. So now the next question uh, becomes, can you solve this basic linear equation? Hopefully you have the math skills to do that. If you do not, don't panic. I would suggest checking out like my pre-algebra, Algebra 1 course. If you're at like a more advanced geometry level, uh, you might want to uh, look at my full geometry course. But when you take high school level geometry, you should already have uh, been successful in taking at least one year of algebra, okay? Because there's a lot of algebra in geometry, but let's go ahead and solve this now, okay? All right, so here's the equation. And what, what does this represent? Well, this is one angle of the triangle. This is another angle of the triangle, and this is the other angle. So this is what these variable expressions represent. But we know that all three of these angles add up to 180 degrees. So to solve this, this is actually quite easy. Let's go ahead and combine like terms. So I have uh, an x, a 2x here, and a 2x here. So 2x and 2x, that's 4x 
plus another x, that's 5x minus 10 is equal to 180. So what do I do next? Well, I want to go ahead and add 10 to both sides of the equation. I don't show that step. You can kind of see that here. Um, again, if you need help with this basic algebra, um, you know, like, again, check out my, my Algebra 1 course. All right, so again, I'm adding 10 to both sides of the equation. Well, let me squeeze it in here just to make sure you understand that. So when I do this, I get what? 5x is equal to 180 plus 10 or uh, 190. So to solve for x, what do I do? Well, you got to divide both sides of the equation by 5. So 190 divided by 5 is 38. So x is equal to 38. But a lot of students would just stop right here. They're like so happy. They're like, yay, look at me. I uh, solved the equation. You kind of get uh, immersed in like, oh, I set up an equation and I solved for it. And here you go, teacher. Here is the answer. So I've seen this happen so many times over the years. You have to slow down as a math student. You, you know, it's great that you're excited about, you know, getting this far into the problem, but you have to answer the question. And what is the question? The question is, what are the angles of the triangle? Okay, we need this piece of information, but we're not done yet. So x is equal to 38. So what we have to do is say, okay, x is now 38. So how do I get the angles? Well, here, here's our triangle. This is x. Okay, this angle is x. So therefore, this uh, angle is 38 degrees. All right, pretty simple here. This angle is 2x. So what's that going to be uh, in terms of this actual angle? Well, it's 2 times x or 2 times 38, and that would be 76 degrees. And then this angle right here is 2x minus 10. So it would be 2 times 38 because x is 38 minus 10. So that's 76 minus 10. Or 66 degrees. Now, you know, if you have enough time on your test or quizzes or homework and you're like, you know what, I just want to make sure that I did this right. Well, it's pretty easy to check. We could just simply add up these actual angles and see if this works out. See if the, um, these add up to 180 degrees. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we have 38 plus 66 plus 76. When we add these up, you do, in fact, get 180 degrees, and this is how you would handle a problem like this. Um, again, the key to uh, knowing this problem is that the sum of the angles of any uh, triangle is always 180 degrees. I can tell you right now, you're absolutely going to be running into a problem like this somewhere along the line in algebra or geometry course, um, and um, you, know, you want to be ready for it. And this is a pretty basic, easy problem, but listen... If you're struggling with any aspect of, uh, you know, this problem or anything in mathematics, if you're like, okay, I know how to do this stuff, but I struggle with this stuff, this is, that's, you know, that's a good start because knowing what you don't know is it gives you kind of a list on the things you want to uh, work on, okay? So if you work on this, you know, these uh, weak areas, you're, uh, everything is going to get so much better. But if you ignore them, you're like, well, I just hope I never see this stuff again. That's not reality. This stuff will come back and haunt you. And this is what's going to make learning your math or being successful math difficult. Really, there is no shortcuts. So uh, if you know, again, what you're struggling in, then that's excellent. Go get help. If I can help you out, I have a ton of YouTube videos on all sorts of uh, topics, basic uh, math to, uh, to calculus. But of course, you can go into my respective uh, courses in my math help program and get my best stuff. All right, but hopefully this little video helped you out. If that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.